afternoon, everyone. It's Kat Bat from Digital Leopard. And today we've got with us Leonie Goodman from Leonie Goodman Consulting. Leonie, could you tell us a little bit about what you do? So my business offers personalized HR solutions. And I want to get into small to medium organizations with an employee base of less than 150. So I can make up the gaps where the HR person or the manager who's taken on the people matters misses out on. And that is the personal communication with individual employees. Yeah, I used to work in HR and it can be a little bit tricky if you don't understand the legal implications of your conversations. It's better to have somebody that you can ask, isn't it? Well, it is, but it's also to have communication channels. So if something's bothering an individual, you've got an experienced person there who can allay your fields and give you, you know, great advice and responses which can help and knowing there's that open channel there always for someone they can talk to. Brilliant. So the employees could call you as yes. well as the employer. Yes, definitely. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so Leonie, what made you start your own business? It's not an easy path. So I'm always wondering what makes people do it. Yeah, it's not an easy path. And I was in um, the corporate world for over 18 years, which I thoroughly enjoyed loved the challenges and then I thought I wanted more of a work-life balance and I wanted to do something for myself. I feel I've done everything I could in the company I was with so that's what I thought you know I'm very confident in what I can offer. Uh, I just need to get out there. I guess that's always the most difficult part right? <laughs> Trying to get the business. How long have you been on your own? Under a year. It'll be a year, um, probably started October, November time last year, for the time it's, I got my website together. It's not an easy time to start your business. How, how has it been for you so far? Well, it hasn't been easy because um, while I had work right away, then everything became very difficult with COVID. And also being part of a large corporate organization, I had my network in place. So I've had to start again. I've had to be my PR, my marketing, my IT, my salesperson. And it's a bit of a culture shock. So that was hard to get used to. And it takes a few months to get around that. It catches out a few people because you kind of get into your own business to do what you love doing. And then actually you spend so much time doing accounting, doing, you know, all those things. Well, of course, you can outsource, so that's where you come in. So if you don't like doing HR, you can outsource this bit, which is great. Yeah, well, that's what I have been doing, calling on people to help me where my expertise is not great. So, and that's what I want to say to people. If you're struggling, there's help out there, you know? Of for course. All this. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, and what has been the biggest challenge that you faced in running your own business? Well, I think it has been building a network. Because wow, it's all I'll... what you're known for within the corporate world, but then nobody knows you outside of that. So it's really trying to portray yourself on like LinkedIn, on Instagram, on Facebook. Yeah. Fair enough. I thought you were going to say COVID, but, you know, considering the time that you started. But yes, I think the network is kind of the biggest part of it. How yeah. did you go about it? Well, I employed someone to get, get me a good website, which I helped with. So that went up. Then I've been on challenges, LinkedIn challenges, how to get the best out of LinkedIn. I joined a great HR network group who helped freelancers get off the ground and start. I've been taking help wherever I can. Brilliant. And uh, what has been the biggest success for you so far? The biggest success, realizing that I can do the work outside of the corporate, having some work and doing a good job, getting good recommendations as a result of that, and then just hoping it grows. But it's having the belief in yourself. But it's really empowering when clients start recommending you to others or returning to you for, you know, more yeah. work. Repeated work. Yeah. Yeah. It makes you feel really good. I love that feeling. <laughs> Um, so, Leonie, is there a piece of advice that you would like to share with other entrepreneurs? I would just say if you're just starting out, you really have to believe in yourself, believe in your product 
and believe in your ability. And it's tough, it is really tough, but you just have to keep going with that belief and take help wherever you can. I think that last bit about taking help as well is really important because it's very difficult to go at it just by yourself. Yeah. Brilliant. Is there any book that has influenced how you do things in your business? Well, it's not particularly a business book, but it's a book I read and returned to called Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway by an author called Susan Jeffers. And she helps you overcome your fears of moving a step forward, of breaking away from what is your comfort zone. And yes, it's a really motivating book. That sounds really, really good. Is there anything that you would like to add? Um, no, just that I'm really enjoying this challenge. I do have a better work-life balance. And there's work out there. It's just how you go about getting it. And that's an exciting challenge to be part of. It is. It's a bit like a game, isn't it? <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you so much for coming on today. It's been a pleasure to have you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it useful, please click the like button below. If you have any comments, pop them in the comment section. And whatever you do, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. <laughs>